really excited about this project because it's a unique opportunity to evaluate a range of technologies that remove a contaminant that's a potential carcinogen, but also hopefully provide the safest water. The benefit of a pilot study is that we're able to evaluate multiple technologies for a relatively low cost at a small scale, utilizing their existing infrastructure to the best of our ability. It is an exceptionally expensive endeavor to go through carbon absorption. The cost is not only building this whole new facility, but carbon also has an endpoint. It's a high operational cost to continue to replace that material. As part of the pilot study, we're treating different water sources with different technologies to try to evaluate what the most cost-effective long-term solution would be for enhanced water quality. So we're taking uh, softened water through several filtration processes, and we're also taking current or existing filter effluent water to evaluate different alternatives for, for the best uh, life cycle cost improvement in the long run. It will give us a comparison which of these alternatives work better for removal of certain contaminants. In the pilot room, we have one column that has filtered water going through it and it's operating like a GAC contactor. And then we have three other columns that are trying to make best use of their existing filter infrastructure. We're giving them like a range of different options that they can pick and that would help them get rid of the DVPs, the DVP precursors, and the plan can go back to free chlorine. It's kind of a neat study because it's testing this whole range of options, big capital investment, big operational investment, and then maybe even if we can use a sustainable process of biofiltration, um, something that gives you the best of both worlds.